B. Talarn. B. In best Imperial Guard Regiment. B. Transport Driver. Get deployed as backup for Cadian Pig Dogs. Not wearing space burkas. Fucking haram.jpg. Ask Cadian why she does not believe in the Emperor. Cadian whore opens slut mouth. Cadian whore raises voice to man. 100 lashes.png. Set lasgun to woman disciplining. Must not set it too high. There are rules. We are not barbarians. Woman makes woman noises. Commissar hears. Says stop. Woman does not stop making woman noises. Commissar places bolt gun to my temple. Stop. Is he talking to me? Racist. Infidel Astartes appear. Fucking finally. Everyone gets in formations. Imprau Akbar. Cadian conscripts bunch up in front of us. Idea. Beep beep. Honk honk. Chimera of peace. Be Rudd. Napping in a nice dark sewer underneath the capital. Feels good, that Voxnet. Woken up by some hunters running through burning everything with flamers. Get instantly turned to dust by our collective entropic field. Go up to see what all the fuss is about. Everything's on fire. Humans burning aliens. Bigger humans burning aliens. Female humans just burning everything. I swear that guardsman just randomly caught fire. Ships bombing everything. Bugs and crocs everywhere. Shiny humans molesting Necrons. Fucking Necrons. Bet the mirror devils did this dot webway. Cause balls there's so much fire. Fucking can't sleep, it's too bright. Fuck this. See Titans coming down from ships. Time for migration, dot JPEG. Be Lord Inquisitor. Get assigned to a system by the assholes at Terra. Apparently it is so worthless that it didn't even get a name until two weeks ago. Now literally everyone is fighting over it. An entire Ordo has been founded. Imperial Guard are giving each other lobotomies like it's a religion. At least the new planetary governess is cute. Hear from an insider source in the Sisters of Battle that some bitch of a cannoness has stolen a cyclone torpedo and is planning on launching at a planet with several marine chapters on it. Also, she is a catty weirdo who has dumbass red hair. Send my loyal party of scum, tech priests, and other misfit nutbags to steal it back. Hope it works. Be sister of battle. Be only half technically competent, one among this bunch of flighty bitches. Get to drive the repressor, though. It's the Canoness's repressor. Really swanky inside. The Ermine pattern everywhere is a bit much. The gunner in this thing is pretty cute. The way she laughs maniacally while working the heavy bolter. Shame everyone considers me just the driver. Normally it's all Sister Lydia. Drive us all out for drinks. Have to be the fucking designated driver in the repressor. Cannoness also will never ride in it. Always has to stand out on the hatch so her scarf looks cool. Suddenly she's saying I have to tow a fucking cyclonic warhead. She's saying I have to drive into the fucking Necron tombs. She's saying I then need to drive back to the transports before it detonates. My face wind dot voxcast. Be Commissar, part four. By this point, I lost track of who the fuck is assaulting the system. 
every day there seems to be some new faction that comes into play with the most recent one being some fucking Nurgle faggot cult getting BTFO by that one priest with a whore of a GF and greenskins. No longer have to worry about having to blam the remaining guardsmen under my command due to the fact that no matter what they do, they are unable to escape from the fight due to the whole system being a war zone. Imagine it like Karuva only on Gene Seed. Shit is pretty mad, Dot Heresy. Had to enforce a color change on my troops, with the primary of blue, secondary of red, some symbols being in white, and gold trimming due to not having some gold being heresy. Just so we can quickly identify what not to shoot. The attrition rates on this system have made it so that regiments still present are practically stormtroopers which gives us the perk of extra equipment. The downside of this is some faggoty raven chapter with an unusual amount of psychers keep stealing our shit. Fucking magpies.vox. Still have no idea why the fuck people are still here other than the fact that everybody lost such a fuck ton of troops and supplies and they just can't back down. Except for the orcs who just do it because of their savage green skin nature. Fucking Xenos dot blam. And now fucking Titan legions are coming which begs the question. What else is going to arrive to make this system into even more of a shithole? The moral of the story is teach your guardsmen how to properly set the power level on their guns. Or else your system can turn into a living hell. Be Imperial Navy pilot, transporting an army of wild and untrained Augurin to this system's training planet. Get fucking clipped by a tow ship beam. How did they even get here, Davox? Ship sent spiraling into a planet's orbit. Eject the containers with the thousands of Augurin on board to stabilize us. Manage to get things under control and fly out. Those Ogrins aren't my problem now. B Sister Therese. That fucking bitch, Sister Charlotte, ruins everything. Holy fucking shit. Charlotte, you bitch. You're just pissed that I called you out on your bullshit like saying that you score with the commissars and shit. Pfft. Yeah, right. And Sister Olga wasn't the one who stole all those fucking Grox patties. I swear to God, the Xeno was torturing me, Charlotte. And even if she wasn't, it's not your fucking business. No one likes your stupid cape anyways. Stop whining about it. Me, Lehman Russ. After 9,987 years, ready to break back into the Imperium in a big way. Gonna whip this cluster frack into a victory. Oh shit, a space quarrel the Auspex return. Disappear into the void. Augrin. Get put in shiny box for a long time. Claustrophobic.jpg. Pass the time by trying to count to five. Get all the way to four with some help from the bonehead when we crash. All many of us climb out. Loads of tiny squished green people and some large squished green people under our box. The landing threw up loads of green spores. So filthy they grew on our bodies making us green. Everyone thinks we're some new giant orcs now. Be cannot tech spider. Just want to chill with the sleeping necrons and keep their metal skeletons in tip top shape. Play cards with the Scarabs and Tomb Sentinel to pass the time. The Overlord wakes up and everybody has to look busy. I hope they don't want me to leave the tomb to repair vehicles. B Space Squirrel. Hunting giant space dire nuts. Some humanoid appears. Ignore it. It gets on all fours when it sees me. It fucking howls. What the fuck, that giant space dire tree branch? 
run away. At this point, there is literally so much shit that's being donated and gifted to the chapter, I've had to call in some extra barges. Battle barges. And of course, really, dark angels? They're like blood angels, right? We're like blood angels. Sort of. In any case, they were kind enough to donate their ward gear to the Blood Ravens for valorous combat. Good on you, Dark Angels. The Salamanders were clearly impressed. I mean, look at all of this loot, er, look at all these gifts. Throne. Even that Primark guy, Gilliman, was kind enough to gift a whole parcel of Primaris Marines. They'll need a paint job, though. Blue really isn't our thing. Hey, hey, hey. Is that some motherfucking titans? Okay, hold my chainsword. I'm gonna impress the shit out of those Mechanicus dudes. They'll be certain to gift me, er, gift the chapter a titan. Fucking crates of Imperial Guard flashlights? Eh, why not? Is... Is that a crate of Ogren? Look, over there. It's a cannon S of the Ermine Mantle with a cyclonic torpedo. What were we talking about? Ogrens? What are you talking about? What Ogrens? Might as well bring up the HUD. 